Um, how many of you guys were able to build your badges and stuff last night? Yeah, a bunch of you, right? That's because of these individuals here. <clears throat> So the other thing that I wanted to mention before we get started and get rolling too far down the road is to thank the volunteers. We have a record number of volunteers helping out this year. They're doing everything from speaker wrangling to helping with registration, people hack hey, helping out in the hardware hacking villages, uh, and a number of other areas. Uh, and so we're very proud to have some of the best volunteers that we've ever had, and they're also what's making St. Con possible. And I can't go any farther without thanking our awesome sponsors. Most of them are gonna be on site tomorrow. Some of them are probably on site today mingling with you guys. Uh, these people have made a conference that is expensive to run possible. Uh, you can't come to a venue as beautiful and nice as this without having enough money to be able to pay for a venue like this. And so the donations, or more specifically, the sponsorships that these guys have given to us have made this possible this year without having to pass a, signif a significant amount of costs onto you guys. So I would like a round of applause for them. Thank you. All right, I want to talk a bit about St. Con. Uh, how many of you are here for your first time? Okay, that's probably about half of the conference, which is what we saw when we start, started doing registration. Um, Saint Con has been around for a long time in one form or another. In fact, this is our 15th year of doing this. Now, how many of you have been here for almost all the 15 years? Raise your hands high. There's a bunch of you. Okay, most of these people are in the education space. Uh, most of these people are in the government space. The Saint Con, or, or the Saint Con conference has been around for 15 years but it's always been kind of a uh, conference where it was invite only or a small group of people uh, were invited to come and participate. We've had it all over the state. It's been a wonderfully cool and growing conference. And then four and a half years ago, we decided, hey, let's just take the lid off of this and let everybody who would like to come and learn about cybersecurity come to this conference. And when we did, we had no idea how fast and crazy it would get. We now have 700 people this year attending the conference. This blew through all of our records uh, that we projected. Uh, when we ordered our badges early on, we ordered 600 thinking, there's no way we're ever going to hit that when our numbers were 500 last year. And so that's why there's so many people raising their hands as first time attendees. There's a lot of you out there. So thank you and welcome. A um, Couple of other things. Our official communication feed for St. Con, we use Twitter. Uh, so if you're not a Twitterer, -er, Twitterer, -er, tweet, twat, what, twatter, whatever, however you conjugate the verbs, um, if you don't use Twitter, I encourage you to use it at least while you're here at St. Con. All of the interesting things that are going to be happening here are going to be tweeted out. We've got people that are ready to facilitate that, and that is our official communications method. At the same time, however, I thought I had a slide there, but maybe I don't. Uh, we have the entire conference schedule online. And so we didn't spend money printing out a piece of paper that was probably obsolete by the time you got here. Uh, so we will continue to update the schedule online. There's a lot of great content this year. We have some of the best content we've ever had. We've got some of the best presenters we've ever had. Uh, and so I invite you to peruse through that. And I think that the problem you're gonna run into is too many cool things and you're gonna have to choose which one you're going to be to. But what we can commit to is we are, we're recording all of the sessions. Uh, we're going to be making them available via YouTube after the conference. And so if you've missed something critical or something that you had to choose, you'll have an option to go back and, and look and watch those. The only exception, exception to those things are going to be the trainings. We are not going to record and put the trainings online, mostly out of the respect of the trainers who actually train for a living and this is their livelihood, we're not gonna out their training material. So be very careful when you choose your training, go to the one that you think is most interesting and uh, it'll suit you pretty well. A Couple of housekeeping items and logistics. With this many people, there's not gonna be a way for us to feed you all in one lunch line. Uh, those of you that came in probably saw a bunch of tables set up over here. Those of you that maybe came through the north doors saw a bunch of tables over here. We're asking that you just self-police and split in half, and half of you can go to this lunch line over here and half over here. 
when it comes time for that. We've got some really incredible food. You're going to be well fed while you're here at St. Con. And so we're going to use the ballrooms here as lunch venue. So you're going to want to clear enough space to have a plate or whatever that you're going to bring in. Uh, so there's not enough seating anywhere else. So this is where you're going to be eating your lunch. And we promise to entertain you a little bit during lunch. Also today during lunch, to make it a little bit more challenging, most of you are technical people, so you'll be able to deal with this quite well, is we're going to be closing the, the, the air walls in here. And so you're going to have to kind of figure out how to get in and out of the space, eat your lunch while we're putting up walls to get ready for this afternoon. So I'm sure you guys can handle it. I'm looking around, a lot of them head nods. We can do this, right? All right, that's the schedule slide that I was missing. If you have any questions about the schedule, there are a lot of committee members around. They all have these really cool black colored badges. Uh, some of them actually have things on them. Mine, I haven't had a chance yet. Um, but let's talk about the badge just a little bit. The badge is a really cool piece of technology. This is the second year, that, or the third year, that we've done a badge like this. Um, and we've done some really fun things. This is a Wi-Fi enabled badge, and I'm not gonna give out too many of the secrets and other things. Uh, until later on when the people that built the badge should be able to do that and, and, and such. If you registered late, it's possible that you don't have the pieces and parts that you need to build the badge yet. And so what we're doing is we are, there's a lot of people that are giving up their parts um, and, and such. So this Thursday at 4.30 on a first come first serve basis, any extra badge parts that we have that are unclaimed or have been turned in we're going to give out to the attendees that haven't received them, okay? We know it's gonna be a cool piece of tech and everybody wants to get on board with it, but like I said before, we had no idea how popular St. Con was going to be this year when we ordered badges and there was no way to source all of the parts by the time the conference started for everybody who registered. So one other plea, if you are not a badge building type of person, but you did receive the badge parts. There's a little bag inside your little badge pack or your packet that you were given. If you aren't going to build it, we would ask that you give that little badge pack back to registration so that we can give it to somebody who wants it, who is really into wanting to build the badge and doesn't have that opportunity. So it's up to you. I'm not saying you need to, but uh, it, would, it would help us out if you're willing to do that. So the St. Con badge, really cool. The Hardware Hacking Village will be open this afternoon for you guys to build and it'll be open through the duration of the conference. A Couple of other things that I want to let you know about. We have Lockpick Village back this year. Uh, Jimmy Longs, uh, where is he? If he's even in here, yell really loud because I can't see you. Maybe he's upstairs getting ready for the Lockpick Village. So we've got Jimmy Longs running our Lockpick Village. He is the king of lock sport. If you want to learn about lock picking, we've done Lockpick Village before at St. Con. We have in-depth trainings on how to pick locks. If so if you just tinkered with it and figured it out, why don't you go learn how to become an expert? And so we have that kind of uh, instruction this year at St. Con. A couple of other things, the Hackers Challenge Village. Uh, it's also our chill space. We've rented a bunch of couches. They're hanging out in there and you're gonna wanna just go chill in that space. Uh, it's the Hackers Challenge Village. For those of you playing and we'll talk about that right here. First of all, before I start talking about Hackers Challenge, we do a pre-conference challenge. How many of you guys were aware of that and saw that, okay? And then how many of you guys played that? There's quite a fair number. We had over 150 people at one point in time playing the pre-con Hackers Challenge. These are the winners. I invite them if they're here to come up really quickly so we don't burn a lot of time. If your handle is on here, come on up here. I've got your advantage for the Hackers Challenge game. <clears throat> I'm not gonna go through any long formal recognition here, but these are the individuals that put in the most time and, the, and earned the most points. This is an advantage in the Hackers Challenge game. Nice. All right, who did we miss? Yeah, yeah, right? No, not you. <laughs> so we'll get this handed out, but uh, these guys are probably going, it's not a super gigantic advantage, but uh, if they can figure out what the clue is, they're gonna have a significant advantage. Let's talk about Hackers Challenge just for a minute. Uh, it's a game that's played at St. Con. If this is your first time playing St. Con, or at St. Con, I encourage you to play this game. 
It's kind of like a capture the flag thing, but it's a self-paced, technology-driven puzzle system that allows you to go through and explore different aspects of security, programming, uh, cryptography, etc. This is the premier game for Saint Con, and it's the only game where if you win this challenge or win this game, we will hand you a black badge. And just like at DEF CON, if, you, if you're familiar with that wonderful conference, at DEF CON, if you get a black badge, you get to come back to the conference for life for free. And so we do the same thing here. So the winner of the Hackers Challenge game every year gets a black badge and does not have to pay to come back ever for Saint Con. So if you're interested, this is the URL. The game starts after the keynotes today. So I want to just let you know about that. We had the Hardware Hacking Village. I'm not going to spend much time on that. That's where you build your badge. But up there in the Hackers Challenge Village, we have a bunch of talks. We've set up a small little classroom, theater style. We're going to post the schedule online. It's not there yet because we were just finalizing it this morning. We promised to have it up before noon. But there's going to be a lot of instruction on lock picking, how to solder. If you've never done that before and need a little bit of help and instruction, they're going to teach you how to do that and a lot of other things. All right? How many of you guys played the vault last year? Okay, there's quite a few of you out there. The vault, we have spent a lot of money and made it incredibly cool this year. So if you were like, eh, looked kind of interesting last year, we have changed things significantly and it's going to be awesome. The vault is a physical security challenge room that we've built upstairs. I encourage you to get, get to know the rules that are posted online, get your teams together. Um, it's going to be really fun uh, for those that participate in there. And as part of the vault challenge, and maybe we're going to pull it out, there's a tamper evident challenge. Might have something to do with a little red thing on your badge. I'm not going to give you any more information than that. But you, you're going to want to check out the vault while you're here. Let's talk about just a few new things uh, for 2016. We have added to the Hardware Hacking Village the HHB Labs. And so specifically what this is, is a place for you to go and get your hands on technology that you probably can't afford or have heard about uh, that helps break into things or whatever that you probably either wouldn't buy or can't buy or whatever. This, these includes things like the HackRF, RFID sensing and replaying systems, uh, Raspberry Pis we've got up there, software-defined radio, all sorts of different cameras, forensics tools, etc. They're all listed on here. I don't need to keep reading off the thing. Um, there's some really cool tech that you can go up there. The cool thing is, is we've got Matt Lorimer and his crew that have gone through and created self-paced, follow step-by-step -step instruction labs for you guys to get to understand how this technology works and use it yourself. So I encourage you to go up there and spend a little bit of time up there. Also, starting this afternoon is the Red versus Blue competition. This is an open forum. It's limited in seating to about 20 people, but you can go in and get instruction on attacking and defending a network against security issues. Okay, I'll give them the opportunity to give you more detail than that uh, once you get up there, but this is brought to us by CompuNet. Uh, they brought in a bunch of different systems and servers to make this happen, so we're very pleased to have them as part of this conference. Another competition that we're doing here is the badge modification competition. There's a lot of parts and other things upstairs that you can start making all of these other little dots on your badge more cool by adding IR sensors and other things. I'll be quiet about the how and what, but that's a competition. There are, there's prizes for all of these. There's a password cracking competition. If you have a password cracking rig, I encourage you to get it fired up and start cracking passwords. We're going to see what we can do there. Um, and then one last thing, uh, this is not something that's specifically sponsored by Saint Con, but I wanted to give it a little bit of lip service. We have the Hack in the box folks that have brought a um, hacker space to Provo for the duration of Saint Con. Um, the address and other things are listed on their website. Uh, I encourage you, if you have nothing better to do at night, this is where you can go work on Hackers Challenge with other people, solder your badge because they're going to have soldering kits, and it goes all night long or till 1 a.m. or whatever. I don't know what the exact schedule is, but I'm sure you can find out there, the information there. Last thing that I've got is I want to just kind of let you see that we are going to have Saint Con again. I mean, even though we're right in the midst of not wanting to ever do it again, 
we're going to have St. Con again. These are the current dates that we've got scheduled. So pencil those in. If you find the conference is worth your time and worth your attendance, this is when we're going to be having it. Uh, we don't have the location finalized yet, but there's a really good chance, based off how things go this year, that it'll be right back here at the Utah Valley Convention Center. And we're very happy to have this facility. It's beautiful. It fits us very well. It allows us to grow a little bit as well. So I'm going to end here with the sponsor slide again. These guys have made a lot of the, these things possible. Uh, the vault expansion. We've done some incredible things there. These guys and their donations to the organization and the conference have made that possible. So thank you very much. I'll get out of your way.